Now you want the best guns, the best weapon damage ever, well this is it. The most OP soldier build by far on Insanity, I am just shredding through enemies and stealth means I always get away. What's up guys, it is Starflord here. Today we have the best soldier build in Mass Effect Andromeda to show off. If you're new to the channel or haven't hit that button yet, smash that subscribe button for more tips and builds and let's see if we can get another 200 likes on this video. So here is the soldier build. I'll go into detail later with some insane combat, but for now, let's get into the build. So you're going to want to start off out in the combat tree, going into the shotguns, picking up the first three ranks, then the spare ammo, then eclipse size, and lastly, damage and force. After this, we are moving on to the turbo charge, picking up again the first three ranks, then duration, as I find this to be the better choice with testing, and then damage and force, and then supercharge as using Bartic Converter means we don't need the extra clip size and so the rate of fire is better. Now moving down to the combat fitness and picking up the first three ranks, then regeneration and then lastly heavy lifting. I don't feel like we need one of the two last ranks but if you feel like you need the defensive or you're dying too much, go ahead and take one of the last ranks. I take the one which helps you when you're on low health. Then going into combat tools, getting the first three ranks again. The next choice is up to you as evasion is an amazing passive so you never take damage while evading which I recommend but for this build we are taking the hover so we get extra weapon accuracy in the air. Aerial melee just in case we need it and we don't have any detonations and then lastly aerial combat so we get even longer duration and more accuracy while getting a bit of defensive while we're hovering in the air and that's it for the combat tree pretty quick pretty simple and now we're going into the last tree that we need which is the tech tree starting off with incinerate taking the first three ranks as always and because we're going for single target damage we will take burning impact and then double incinerate and that's it for the first incinerate really quick it's just all focused on single target damage now we're going to tactical cloak an insane spell taking the first three ranks as always then getting the damage bonus so we get even more gun damage buffs which this build revolves around then duration so those buffs last even longer and then lastly combat cloak so that these buffs last through the extra cloak duration and then it means we can just keep firing whilst being stealth. Then we're moving on to the team support, probably one of the most important trees of this build. You need to take the first three spells, then support, then team recovery, and lastly, the amazing life support. So you just never die. Every time you cast a tech spell, you will just start gaining life back very, very, very rapidly. Lastly, we're going into the offensive tech tree, another key tree, taking the first three ranks, then anti-shield, then anti-synthetic, and then the technical rounds, which gives us the damage boost we need. This actually makes incinerate just as good as biotic charge in terms of giving you a buff with the 30% weapon damage slash gun damage bonus. If you have more skills, spend them in anything you feel will help. Usually I go for things extra capacity or extra defenses or just buff your snipers and pistols. Then go over to the Provaz and make sure you pick that soldier for all of that juicy damage bonus that you are going to need. Now moving on to the weapons of this build, we have the Darn Shotgun to start off, which will soon get its very own video, so stick around for that. First, we are going to put a Seeking Plasma system on, so its bullets seek mobs, and then we are going to need a Biotic Converter. Now these two augmentations are key, and the next two are up to you. Now if you can get two Kinetic Coils, get them because it's just more weapon damage, but as I only have one, I'm going to add a double mod extension but as I said if you have an extra kinetic coil go ahead and add that now moving on to the next weapon of this build we have the black widow sniper an insane sniper with a good rate of fire the weapon choices here is basically to cover all three technologies and have the long range and short range capabilities now firstly I'm going to add a double mod extension as I know I actually have four mods to put on the weapon 
And now just to clear things up, apart from the biotic converter on the shotgun augmentation, everything else can be your choice on all of the other weapons. Now the second augmentation we are getting is the aerial performance optimizer, so you get 35% more damage when hovering. My last augmentations are just recharge speeds so I can get my abilities back faster while I'm sniping. Now onto the last amazing gun for this build. We have the Shield Shredder Equalizer SMG. Now the first augmentation we will put on this is the Aerial Lubricant for the 35% rate of fire increase. So this weapon just shreds through shields and health. Now once again getting the double mod extension and then lastly getting a duration increase so our spells last longer. Now in this build kinetic coils on the shotgun is obviously preferred and pretty much all the time because the more weapon damage you can get the better. The biotic converter is 100% needed but as I said before any of the other augmentations are completely up to you. And as for the gear again all you need to do is you need to make sure you have the most weapon or gun damage possible you can. Now I don't have the best optimized on but if you can just get the most optimized damage gear make sure you put Put that on now in terms of mods for your guns be sure to keep that your darn shotgun has as high clip size as it possibly can and also as high damage as it possibly can and like augmentations the rest are just completely up to you now we're all done with the skills and all of the weapons so let's just get into the combat you all want to see Right guys, so now getting into the absolutely insane combat where we have loads to show off in this build and obviously as always this build is on insanity i only want to show you insanity because like i always say if it's going to be amazing on insanity it's going to be amazing on absolutely everything so just charging in with the nomad here i absolutely love this vehicle it's so fun in this game which has such huge worlds and i'm coming up here on a huge pack i believe there's going to be two fiends and then there's a couple of extra mobs there which we are going to be taking out now we're getting out the sniper to quickly pick off some targets picking off that roach there really quite quickly picking off some of these a nice headshot there uh, and then another hit that first headshot was absolutely insane i just love on this game how they flop dead it's really really fun uh, and then again just keep picking off enemies as i'm slowly getting closer with my shotgun this guy came up from behind and two I shot him dead so, and then he did some spin thrust which was very nice ran in maybe he went a bit too far but then what we had to do is just go and absolutely blast those enemies down so then we lived and then obviously just shredding through this fiend so so quickly with this shotgun with the turbocharged build so although it was a bit sketchy we were able to just use the insane damage from the shotgun to kill them all and then i'm pretty sure this is the last mob yeah it is and we're just killing him really really easily not even struggling to be honest the most reason we lost that health was that bit of a sketchy moment and then we got it all back now to some sniping with the black widow such an amazing sniper got some insane range and some amazing accuracy as you saw there picked off that roach and i was starting to just take down this fiend's health slowly from afar that's what i absolutely love about this build as well you can stealth i probably should have been hovering here for maximum damage but i was just walking along saw another roach in the distance thought i'd have a shot and we just got the shot straight up an insane shot and then obviously it's got close i thought i'd show off a bit of the equalizer it's better against shields and the low health mobs as you could see it was just tearing through his health uh, and then just getting out the shotgun to absolutely obliterate him dead and that's that being dead. Thought it would be funny if I could get some ridiculous range shots. Because the Seeking Plasma has quite a long range. Uh, but then getting out the Sniper again for a, another kill on that Roach. And then the other Roach got popped there as well. And there, oh, there's another Roach. Bam. Gone. That's what the Black Widow is all about. Absolutely insane. And as you can see in those previous fights. And we're going to come up to another big fight soon that this build is just phenomenal you absolutely shred through enemies and tactical cloak with that extended duration even after shooting means you just basically never get shot at uh, here again basically two shot in that i'm pretty sure and then some other mobs in the distance so i thought i'd get the black widow out do some damage to both of them nearly always 
nearly already killed that one mob and then killing it off with the equalizer to shred its health you obviously have to get close with the equalizer wasn't close enough pop the cloak and it just shred through its health it's absolutely ridiculous how quickly that can shred and then the shotgun coming out to two shot that target and then going on the fiend popping everything and absolutely destroying it dead and that is it guys this build is so insane even though all of those clips put together is quite quick due to just the fact that this build is phenomenal it absolutely rinses through enemies probably the best soldier build out there so yeah once again i hope you enjoyed this video i will be releasing new builds some new series that you guys can enter and also some other things on weapons so i hope you stick around for all of them i hope you have enjoyed this video once again i hope you're having a good day week or month hit that subscribe button hit that like button comment below share this video and i will see you next time.